Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Here we will introduce you to the Jupyter Lab provided by Copernicus Data Space Ecosystem. Jupyter Lab is an open source online interactive web application. It gives access to computational environments and resources without burdening the user with installation and maintenance tasks. Every registered Copernicus Data Space user have access to Jupyter Lab and Jupyter Notebook free of charge at a limited capacity of resources beneath. You can access them with the same Copernicus data space ecosystem credentials. Therefore, the main objective of this tutorial is to introduce you with one of the capabilities that Copernicus data space ecosystem offers you, that is Jupyter Lab. So let's get started. On the main website, if you hover over analyze data, you will notice Jupyter Notebook from the drop-down menu. When clicked, it will lead you to a new page that gives you a brief information about Jupyter Notebook provided by Copernicus Data Space Ecosystem. When you click on Access Jupyter Notebook link, from the top of the page, it can lead you to a new window. When you click on the Sign in with Key Clock button, you will be directed to the Copernicus Data Space login window. After you successfully sign in, a window with an option to select among three different clusters will be launched, small, medium, and large. All the flavors are suitable for performing typical tasks and will be capable of running all the sample examples provided in the samples folder. To ensure fair uses of resources, it is recommended to start with small flavor and switch to bigger only when you experience issue with kernel crashing due to lack of memory. Once you land in this interface, you will be presented with a launcher that offers various Python environment to work in, including Python 3, Geoscience, OpenEO, and Sentinel Hub. Each environment is equipped with specific Python packages tailored to different requirements. You can choose to run your code either in a notebook or a console depending on your preferences. It also provides option to create text file, markdown files, or Python files. Within a notebook, you always have option to change among different kernels based on your requirement. The sidebar located on the left side of the interface provides additional functionality and information. It houses various panels, including a file browser for easy navigation through files and folders. When you start the notebook, in the file navigation pan, you will see three folders. The sample folder provides you with a collection of notebook examples that you can explore and utilize. My Stories is a persistent storage with 10 GB of space. It is automatically created for each user during the first login to Jupyter Hub. This storage area is preserved when you log out and the Jupyter kernel is shut down. It will be kept up to 15 days from your last login and you will receive a notification to log in to Jupyter Hub to reset the timer. If you do not log in, then after 15 days, your files will be deleted from the stories. Samples and work folders are recreated with every start of Jupyter kernel. The sample folder is always up to date with the latest version of notebooks. If you make changes to the sample, please make sure to save them in the My Stories area to make sure that you use it when you get it back after a period of inactivity. The menu bar located at the top of the interface provides a set of menus with various options. User can perform file operation, edit documents, configure the appearance and behavior of Jupyter Lab, manage kernels for code execution, and access other advanced features. The contextual tabs are dynamic and appear below menu bar when a notebook is open. This tab provide relevant option and settings specific to selected items, allowing user to perform action and configuration directly within the interface. Jupyter Lab allows collaborative work with the functionality to share it with multiple users. They can edit and view the same notebook or projects in real time. If needed, user can also install additional Python packages. Jupyter Notebook also allows you to change your code cell to markdown cell by simply changing it to markdown. This concludes our short introduction to Jupyter Lab environment provided to Copernicus Data Space Ecosystem users. We highly encourage you to explore and experiment with Jupyter Lab on your own. 
to fully experience its capabilities and customize it according to your specific needs. If you have any queries or questions along the way, we kindly request you to submit them as a ticket in the Copernicus Data Space Ecosystem Hub Center. Our dedicated support team will be happy to help you. Thank you for listening.